All right, we are back with the 2016 Toyota Tacoma, third gen. Uh, someone mentioned the other day you can do stuff with these rear seats to optimize storage if you're hauling stuff, etc. And I said, all right, I'll try it. I know you can flip these seats up right here to get to the storage for the jack and whatever else you want to put in there. Uh, but I didn't know there was some hidden little secrets. So as you flip the seat up, right, flip it up. And this is on both sides. It's a split seat. You got these two little holes. Well, these are for your back rest right here, your headrest. These come out, you just squeeze the sides of the, the post right there. Squeeze the sides, this comes right out. And you take this, come over here. I'm sure most everybody knows this, but I thought it was interesting. Uh, and you slide those into the, um, into the little holes here. Just like that, et voila, look at that. Now what does this do? You can bring this down. Pull up on the strap, blammo, drop that. And now, I did the other side as well, just to speed this video up. Now you have a nice platform back here and you won't be ripping up your seats, the cloth seats. I have cloth seats and some have leather, but anyway, I have cloth. This is a nice hard shell. You got the nice recessed bins in here. I got my pump in there, my tire pump. And I got the other headrest in there, which, having just realized, this thing can go right in here. Oh, my God, look at that. I just figured, that, I didn't even know that was there. Blammo. <laughs> and you can just put that right there. Oh, man, now you got this area back in here, right? You got this whole area. And you don't have to worry about your um, seats being messed up. So if you have a pet, you can put a blanket, dog blanket back here. Uh, this is like a nice little wall here. So you got this whole like a little baby truck bed uh, Let's see you got some hooks up here. These were for the seats, but you can get some bungees and You got these hooks as well to hang grocery bags or other straps or a net or whatever. So pretty cool. Pretty cool uh, I like it. I like it a lot Toyota man. I'm telling you I like Toyota's we have a Sequoia I had a Tundra before this and I think we had the earlier Sequoia as well. I'm just sticking with Toyota, man. This one is a 2016, like I said. Only have 48,000 on it because I don't drive much and my daughter doesn't drive it much. We have a Sequoia, it's a 2012. So what's that, 12, 12 years old? Huh, I don't know, it, mid hundreds on it, still running great. So yeah, we can just throw stuff in here. I like this setup. Because again, we don't have people in the back seat, you know? Put this in here. Hold on, just throwing stuff in here. And now I like, yeah, like this This thing would roll. I could just throw it down in here. It won't roll. Look at that. Storage. Now the other little trick was the gas cap thing. Let me see. I'm gonna try this. You take this, you got the little bend there. And what are you supposed to do, just clip it there? Is that what the trick was? You can just do that. That way you're not putting stress on this cheap little plastic thing, even though it's held up quite a bit. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's not bad. So if you try to close your gas cap, you'll know, oh my gosh, I forgot to put my gas cap back on. Uh, it can happen because everybody's always on their phone now. So there you go. I like that little thing. So again, you don't know what you don't know. And I like learning new things. This is gold right here for me. Storage on a small pickup. I don't use the bed much. I got some things in back back there. In hindsight, I'll be honest, I wish I would have purchased, I hate to say this, a Highlander. I don't know, just saying, because I'd like to have it all enclosed. I don't want to get a cab on the back, but I hardly ever do use this back as a pickup or hauling much. Very, very rarely. Maybe my bike or something, but that's about it. Uh, yeah, uh, what else we got going on? This is my Plasti Dip solution instead of um, popping off these fenders which were desert tan painted i just taped them off put plastic around for overspray and i don't know it's plastic dip it's a truck i love it worst cases i hated it you know what the plastic dip peels right off and you got the original paint back i tried aftermarket stuff fenders they look like crap so you know i didn't even put them on because i went i'm not putting that junk on here but that was my last project 
I just, or oh, I also did plastic dip on the wheels. This is, I swear to God, I put this on in 2016. And uh, it's, this stuff sticks. I mean, I use isopropyl alcohol to wipe everything down, but it sticks. Next thing, next thing I'm going to do on the truck is I'm going to do the uh, drive shaft, lube, lube up the U-joints. I got the grease coming for that. I got my grease gun already for my outboard motor. I use that anyway for the Zerks. And I'm going to change the rear oil, differential oil back here. Uh, swap that out and uh, hope I don't screw that up. And I also have the PCV valve coming. About 46,000, 47,000 on this puppy. So why not? I want to keep this thing running forever if possible. New cars are overpriced. They're not worth it. They're junk. Uh, dealerships are backing up with cars right now. Even Toyota. I heard the newer Toyotas aren't the greatest because they're first first generation model, new model, and you don't ever buy those. Too many bugs to work out. Uh, this thing, I'm just going to want to keep it, man. Why buy a new car? The other thing we have is a golf cart. So <laughs> that is actually the funnest thing ever to drive for where we're at in this little town. We can drive golf carts, a street legal golf cart. That is the win. If you want to enjoy life, go to a town where you can drive a golf cart around. It's not the safest thing, but it's fun as heck. All right, Toyota's fun too. All right, on that note, I'm out. Just a little video on little gotchas on the uh, little, little hidden features or useful features on the, the old Tacoma.